the one who died for us is not only a savior he is king the monarch not only of this universe the monarch he sits alone without any threat whatsoever there are kings that need people to watch their back just in case there is conspiracy lucifer tried it and there was war in heaven and the bible says michael the archangel that he judged him and there was no place found for him satan that old serpent he sits over the circumference of time and manipulates everything according to his will the Bible says, Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6, it says, For without faith, it is impossible to please him. The protocol is that he that cometh unto God, you must come believing that he exists. You are, not, you are not coming before a politician. You are not coming before a consular of a, a, an embassy to give you a visa. You are coming before not only your savior, but the monarch of the universe. When he says, done, believe me, it is done. Kings are not talkatives. It is, a, it is a system to validate their authority. When you find a king that is a talkative, it means there is a threat to his understanding of power. When they speak, it is by the decree of the king. And the Bible says, where the word of the king there is power. I believe in the name of Jesus that in this service tonight the king will speak over someone's life speak over someone's destiny it was the king that gave the rivers their borders and said thus far have you come do not cross this boundary and for thousands of years millions they have kept in obedience regardless the rebellion of satan when the earth was immersed in water it was at the decree of the king that the rivers returned back to their place of habitation and gave room for land this king that we serve is a mighty king he is god but he is king our confidence is based on the fact that he stands behind us like a mighty terrible one are we blessed i have come to you tonight oh king of zion give me an encounter go ahead and pray go ahead and pray the king of kings the lord of lords the one whose kingdom there is no end we worship speak to our hearts tonight grant us superior wisdom by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ god bless you please be seated they go from strength to strength as many as appear before the Lord in Zion when we come week in week out we come to encounter strength we come to encounter the wisdom of the Spirit hallelujah I welcome everyone this is koinonia thank you so much for the sacrifice of your time especially for those who have come from far and near I, I think I promised last week, I hope I'm right on that, that we're going to recognize and honor our international guests. Did we do that already? I think we did that. Did we do that last week? Anyway, all of our international guests, may God bless you. We thank you for the sacrifice of coming from across the globe. The Lord bless you. We have people coming in literally every week and we recognize and honor your sacrifice is one thing for sure is you will not come here and go back the same in the name of Jesus Christ 
let me just honor a few people for sake of um, protocol um, we have our very own father Bishop Obi Onubogu God bless you God bless you daddy thank you so much hallelujah who would know and believe that 84 years looks like this hallelujah we covet that grace that day sorry for the embarrassment but we covet that grace 84 years standing strong tall serving the purposes of the kingdom we honor you sir we honor you hallelujah praise the name of the lord we also have in our midst a dear, wonderful man of God, Reverend Chidi Okorafor. Let's honor him. God bless you. God bless you, sir. Thank you so, so much. Sincerely appreciate you. Thank you. We have Reverend Yusuf Akila. Thank you so much. House on the Rock, just thank you. I have my dear friend and brother, Pastor Fred Zamani. God bless you. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you. And our very own... Pastor Peter Sadiq, God bless you. Hallelujah. Everyone who has come, we honor and we recognize you. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Commanding salvation over territories, part two. We're looking at a two-part series that seeks to give us understanding on how to command salvation over territories last the week before last when we considered part one the sub team was the witness of mighty works i did teach us that results are evangelists they also preach that it is not just men that preach mighty works are also witnesses across a territory and that personal results are a mighty tool as far as evangelism and the enthroning of Christ is concerned that when believers contend to see results in their lives it is not just for the sake of gratifying the flesh and a sense of progress that God is interested in your producing results because the evidence that comes from and through your life is able to preach to a territory hallelujah that there is a dimension of the gospel that should not be preached by men it should be preached by results results have a voice results have a language that the territory can understand are we together now and that if the church of the Lord Jesus Christ and if believers are barren of results there is a dimension of kingdom advance that cannot happen at a territorial level I told us that it matters that a territory gets saved a territory can be born again not just individuals what happens to the human spirit can happen to a territory every territory has a soul and it can be saved too are we together but that altar call will not be made just by the speakings of men it is your results that makes that altar call and that the dexterity of your result can call a territory to its knees to acknowledge Jesus I told you that individuals can be saved and yet not be safe because the safety of the individuals depends on the salvation of the territory are we following now for a long time the context of our evangelism has been limited to personal salvations and that is important but if we stop there it is possible for an individual to be saved and a territory is in decadence and the saved individual becomes a victim of the decadence of the territory an example was lot in sodom and gomorrah lot had honor to the god of the bible but because he was dwelling amongst a people who were perverse it took the intervention of the angels to help him and his family is that true yes when isaiah saw the lord in chapter 6 he made two confessions number one he said i am a man of unclean lips then number two i dwell amidst the people of unclean lips 
so if you are the only one who is saved in your territory you may be saved as far as your personal salvation is concerned but the territory you can be a victim of that territory sadly it is purported that many many nations in africa and the world are corrupt my question is are you corrupt as an individual but you have to answer a corporate name because you are in a territory that has not been saved so territorial salvation matters to god as much as personal salvation can i tell you this when we do not pay attention to the salvation of a territory all it takes is one generation of godly men to pass away and decadence will return and become the order of the day we have seen this in scripture we have seen this through church history that it is possible for satan to be patient and allow a whole generation of those who call upon the name of the lord to be saved when moses was advocating the exodus of god's people from egypt pharaoh began to make negotiations and he said we will allow you but we will keep your children moses said no way we are all going the command is for all of us so just because you are saved does not mean everything is all right if your territory does not answer to god you will have to find out what is happening to the schools where your children go to you will have to find out what happens to you in the hospital you will have to find out what happens to the police and all the institutions within that territory a territory can and should be born again the power and the witness of mighty works it is on account of this that we sincerely desire to produce results results all wise we are motivated by the understanding that our results are preachers so it is not just a manifesto of the flesh a desire to have and to become it is a desire that in and through our results that message of the gospel be preached to the territory are we together now and we looked at a few reasons why individuals do not command the kind of results that can preach to a territory i listed four of them let me do a quick recap and we'll get into tonight's teaching number one i said over dependence on the strength of the flesh you still remember that the reason why we are not able to see the manifested power of god in and through our lives is because there is over dependence on the strength of the flesh technology individuals philosophies and the formula of men number two ignorance and disobedience to god's principles god is a god of systems and ignorance and disobedience to his principles and his systems will always leave the believer defeated my people hosea lamented chapter 4 and verse 6 are destroyed even though they are my people they are destroyed for the lack of knowledge ignorance and disobedience to god's principles number three demonic oppression the third reason why individuals do not command and produce the kinds of results in and through their lives that bring glory to jesus is demonic oppression the bible is very clear as to the fact that the whole world lies in wickedness in first thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18 like we considered the week we discussed this that i would have come to you paul was speaking to the church in thessalonica he said but satan hindered us satan does not just hinder men satan can hinder things he can hinder doors from opening he can hinder helpers from reaching you it is possible and then number four we said the fourth reason why believers do not command results in their lives is that they trivialize and ignore the place of spiritual empowerment in this kingdom it takes empowerment to rise and to reign ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10 it says to be strong in the lord and in the power of his might our strength 
is derived from the power of his might keep that scripture let's look at amplified it says to draw your strength from your union your oneness with him it says in conclusion be strong in the lord be empowered through your union with him draw your strength from him that strength which his boundless might provides your oneness with christ has a spiritual implication you should be strong in that consciousness are we together the bible clearly tells us that it is through the greatness of his power psalm 66 and verse 3 that the enemies submit themselves there are wicked spirits across territories and it takes the power of the holy spirit to dislodge them and enthrone christ hallelujah commanding salvation over territories part one was the witness of mighty works let's go to part two now commanding salvation over territories part two i want to teach you a very deep mystery tonight please open your spirit your mind if you understand what i want to teach you tonight you will command dominion over territories and i trust god that god will use us in no small way to bring not just individuals but territories to the saving knowledge of jesus commanding salvation over territories part two we're going to be looking at the power of prophetic intercession commanding salvation over territories the power of prophetic intercession jeremiah chapter 27 and verse 18 we'll look at three scriptures or four and then i'll begin to read please read with me it's projected ready read but if they be prophets and if the word of the lord be with them let them now make intercession to the lord of hosts that the vessels which are left in the house of the Lord and in the house of the king of Judah and at Jerusalem go not to Babylon. If it is true that they are prophets, if it is true that the word of the Lord is with them, then they should make intercession to stop what is left from going to Babylon. The power of prophetic intercession. The Bible is very clear as to the fact that there is the ministry of the intercessor. That intercession is a ministry. And that all believers without reservation are called into that ministry. In as much as there are people who are uniquely graced to be intercessors. But that the ministry of intercession like the work of the evangelist who named the name of Christ first Timothy chapter 2 from verse 1 to 4 first Timothy chapter 2 and verse 1 to 4 please pay attention I exhort therefore that first of all supplications prayers intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men reading to verse 4 for kings and for all that are in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life that means the quietness and the peace of that territory does not just depend on what happens in the government house does not just depend on what happens technologically that the saints have an assignment in maintaining peace over their territories in all godliness and honesty verse 3 for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior who desires that all men be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth and all this happens through the ministry of intercession we intercede for all men, for kings, for nobles, for those in authority. 
Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 25. Listen to this and look at it very carefully. Wherefore, he is able to save them to the uttermost that come to God by him because of a mystery, seeing that he ever liveth to make intercession. It is because he makes intercession that we know salvation can reach to the uttermost. He is able to save them to the uttermost that come unto God seeing that there is a ministry that he engages in that does not fail that he makes intercession for them what is intercession intercession is not just mere prayer what is intercession the word intercede means to midwife the word intercede means to become a bridge. Please pay attention. The word intercede means to stand in the gap. Are we together now? Yes. So intercession gives the idea of mediating over a person, over a people, so that the counsel of darkness, spiritually speaking now, does not prevail over their life and so that the purposes of God find expression over their lives. To intercede means to stand in the gap in prayer over individuals, over families, over cities, over territories, over nations to the intent that number one, the purposes and the counsel of darkness be thwarted over those individuals and number two the purposes of Christ be enthroned the assignment of intercession seeks to do two things number one to prohibit the hand of Satan the plot of darkness over individuals and then it seeks to release the purposes of God to find expression you have to understand this the intercessory ministry has to do with stopping the hand of darkness because i hope you know from scripture that the church being the light of the world is the principal limitation to the reign of darkness is that true yes that it, the presence of the church is the reason why evil cannot prevail intercession withholding the plot of darkness over individuals, over families, over nations, over territories and allowing the course of the kingdom to find expression. Many believers do not understand the place of prophetic intercession in birthing the purposes of God over the lives of individuals and territories. Are we blessed Ezekiel chapter 22 let's read from verse 23 please pay attention to this scripture Ezekiel 22 from verse 23 and the word of the Lord came unto me saying son of man say unto her thou art a land that is not cleansed nor reigned upon in the day of indignation there is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof like a roaring lion ravening the prey they have devoured souls they have taken the treasure and precious things they have made her many they have made her many widows in the midst thereof 26 her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things they have put no difference between holy and profane. Neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean. And have hid their eyes from my Sabbath. And I am profaned among them. Next verse. Her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves. Ravening the prey. This is a description of the state of a territory. To shed blood. Are you aware of the latest passion you see in our region over human sacrifices 
does that give you any concern this is what the bible is saying to shed blood and to destroy souls to the intent that they get dishonest gain 28 and her prophets have doubted them an untempered mortar seeing vanity and divining lies unto them saying thus saith the lord when the lord has not spoken 29 the people of the land have used oppression and have exercised robbery and have vexed the poor and the needy yea they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully next verse and i sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge that is the spiritual definition of intercession and stand in the gap before me for what the land not just for the people that i should not destroy it but i found the consequence next verse therefore i have poured out my indignation upon them i have consumed them with the fire of my wrath their own ways i have recompensed upon their heads say yet the lord god can i tell you this tragedy awaits any territory tragedy awaits any family tragedy awaits any people group that ignores the ministry of prophetic intercession i tell you why darkness seems to prevail over territories unhindered because there are christians there are prayer warriors but there are very few intercessors the selfishness of believers that has come as a result of immaturity and lack of spiritual growth has also translated to their prayer lives just because you are praying does not mean you are walking in spiritual accuracy are we blessed there are many examples of intercession in scripture i'll pick three to help us understand that intercession is a powerful ministry number one let's go to the patriarch abraham the bible says look unto abraham your father and to sarah that body so we are looking up to him to study in genesis chapter 18 please give us from verse 16 remember the visitation of the three angels that came to abraham having served them the bible says and the men arose long reading be patient they arose up from tents and looked towards sodom and abraham went with them to bring them on the way uh-huh very quickly please and the lord said shall i hide from abraham that thing which i do seeing that abraham shall surely be a great and mighty nation and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him for i know him that he will command his children and his household after him that they shall keep the way of the lord to do justice and judgment that the lord might bring upon abraham that which he had spoken 20 and the lord said listen carefully now because the cry of sodom and gomorrah is great and because their sin is very grievous I will go down now and see whether they have done all together according to the cry of it which is come unto me and if not I will know and the men turned their faces from tents and went towards Sodom but Abraham stood yet before the Lord and Abraham drew near and said will thou also destroy the righteous and the wicked this is the character of an intercessor please go to 23 are you seeing here that whether sodom is destroyed or not it was none of his business but he reached out to say look i i do not mean to dishonor you but are you also going to destroy the righteous and the wicked next verse per adventure there be 50 righteous within that city will thou also destroy and not spare the place for 50 righteous that are therein that be that be far from thee to do after this manner to slay the righteous with the wicked and that the righteous should not be as the wicked that be far from thee 
shall not the judge of all the earth do right look at look at look at look at him engaging intelligence in intercession and the lord said if i find in sodom 50 righteous within that city what a city then i will spare all the place for their sake and abraham answered and said behold now i have taken upon me to speak unto the lord which i am but dust and ashes 28 per adventure there shall lack five of the 50 righteous will thou destroy the city for lack of five and he said if i find 40 and five i will not destroy it 29 and he spake unto him yet again and said per adventure there shall be 40 found there and he said i will not do it for 40's sake abraham is it not enough watch an intercessor and he said unto him oh let not the lord be angry and i will speak per adventure there shall 30 be found there and he said i will not do it if i find 30 there and he said behold now i have taken upon me to speak unto the lord per adventure there shall be 20 found there and he said i will not destroy it for 20 sake you are even tired already you that is reading the story you see how you are weary and tired i say what i abraham are we together and he said oh let not the lord be angry and i will speak yet but this once peradventure 10 shall be found there and he said i will not destroy it for the sake of 10. i will not destroy it for the sake of 10. abraham was safe abraham was fine listen to the commendation that god said about abraham that as far as you and your children are i know you will teach them right yet abraham hold on here we want to go and visit a territory and he said please i know that is not my concern but intercession has made it my concern will you destroy the righteous and the wicked example number two jesus jesus the intercessor luke chapter 22 from verse 31 luke 22 from verse 31 remember the story of simon and satan coming into him and the lord said simon simon behold satan had desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat but i have prayed for thee i didn't pray for myself that means satan would have prevailed because the spiritual intelligence to immune yourself from his effect you do not yet have it but i bridge that gap in prayer that thy faith fail not and when you are converted use this strategy of intercession to also secure your brethren that while they are still learning the ways of god satan will not have advantage of them that means when you are converted become an intercessor and the people you train train them to also become intercessors John 17 look at the ministry of intercession verse 1 Jesus lifted up his eyes to heaven watch Jesus intercede now father the hour is come glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee uh-huh as thou hast given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him three this is eternal life that they might know thee the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent he says I have glorified thee in the earth I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do five now O father glorify me with thy own self and with the glory that I had with thee from before the world was uh-huh I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me and they have kept your word verse 7 now 
they have known all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee verse 8 for I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me and they have received them and have known surely that I came out from thee and they have believed that thou didst send me verse 9 I pray for them I pray for them Jesus the intercessor I pray for them I pray not for the world but for them which thou hast given me for they are thine verse 10 it says all and all mine are thine and thine is mine and I am glorified in them watch the prayer of Jesus now and now I am no more in the world but these are in the world and I come to thee Holy Father and it says keep through thy own name those that thou has given me that they may be one as we are this is why I know the oneness of the body of Christ must come to pass because the person who prayed that prayer request was Jesus himself regardless the differences you see now there is something called the unity of faith are we together Romans chapter 8 and verse 34 for sake of time we're looking at Jesus the intercessor Romans 8 34 who is he that condemneth it is Christ that died yea rather that is risen again who is even at the right hand of God who also makes intercession for us that even after he resurrected after his coronation crowning him Lord he still today makes intercession for the saints third example of intercession in scripture the early church Acts chapter 12 I hope you know that the condition for anything to be a doctrine there is theologically speaking now anything is a doctrine if and when it was adumbrated in the Old Testament condition number one it was captured in the life and the experience of Jesus number two and it was practiced in the early church number three any truth and any mystery that does not satisfy that threefold condition cannot be called a doctrine it must be adumbrated foreshadowed in the Old Testament it must be captured in the life the earth work of Jesus and it must have been practiced by the early church are we together Acts chapter 12 let's start our reading from verse 1 now about the time Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church too and he killed James the brother of John with the sword and because he saw it that it pleased the Jews he proceeded further are you seeing what happens when we don't pray notice that the spirit of the Antichrist was the one walking through Herod he there were three people who were with Jesus at the Mount of Transfiguration I hope you know there were different classification of the disciples is that true there was the 72 there was the 12 there was the three and then there was John the beloved all of them had different experiences there was something the 12 had that the 72 did not have there was something the three saw that the remaining 12 did not see Satan knowing this began to handpick those he will destroy Peter James and John remember the pillars he destroyed James they beheaded James historically speaking and he saw that it pleased the people and he went straight to Peter if he was done with Peter he would have destroyed John there was something now you read the gospel and you find out read the writings of these three people James Peter John aside from the Pauline epistles you read their exegesis on on, on, on the truth of God's word there were mysteries that were given to them and Satan knowing this 
the spirit of the antichrist were coming here the spirits that move across territories herod just thought he was being political because it pleased them he wanted to kill them so that the people would like him but he did not know he was under the influence over that territory the bible says and because he saw that it pleased the jews he proceeded further say no way shout it say no way evil will always proceed further when there are no intercessors let me tell you this satan will come to a family and test something and watch the reaction if all that he sees is just discussion and carnal analysis he will proceed further i tell you satan has the ability to proceed further if on in that look at this he proceeded further to take peter also he tested your finances and you kept quiet you just assumed nothing was wrong your health is coming i assure you whatever satan touches in your life and around your environment is not the only thing he wants he wants everything but he will touch something first and watch the reaction if he finds out you are lukewarm and cold and careless and it does not matter everybody in the family just became sick overnight I, i'm sure it's just the weather he's coming again he will proceed further the bible says then were the days of unleavened bread verse 4 and when he had apprehended him peter now he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending that after easter to bring him forth to the people peter would have died peter was kept in the prison help me read believers but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him that means everything Satan planned would have happened but a midwife came in a prophetic midwife parasuda pakata this night a grace is coming on someone that listen based on the architecture of Satan it is like a spiritual room they have plotted your family already they have plotted everything and is signed already time for execution but they did not factor you in that plan hear me the reason why job became a victim of what he saw was because there was no intercessor to stand for job if there was an intercessor satan would be wasting his time hear me the catastrophe did not just touch job's children because he was an intercessor for them but no one was an intercessor for him so when the devil got their intercessor he got them too but prayer was made without season of the church unto god for your office for nigeria for your family for your business for your village prayer was made unto god that means could it be that it was not the plan of god for james to die could it be that their intercessory ministry came late so that lateness made one person to pay the price could it be that john the baptist was beheaded easily and cheaply because there was no intercessor we know that jesus was preserved because there were two strange intercessors simeon the prophet and anna the prophetess otherwise they would have killed jesus oh please sit down prayers was made unto god to, by the church for him let's read verse 6 last verse and when herod would have brought him forth the same night the same night peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door of the prison let's finish up and put perspective to it verse 7 and behold 
at the instance of intercession the angel of the Lord question where was that angel with James If we do not understand the principles or the mystery of prophetic intercession our territory will remain godless our territory will remain helpless our families will remain bankrupt of the power and the salvation of Jesus Christ now principles of prophetic intercession let me teach you the principles of prophetic intercession in another series we're going to be dealing um, deeper but just to give the foundation the intercessory ministry is based on two principal foundations please listen carefully the intercessory ministry is based on two principal foundations number one the law of love the first foundation upon which the intercessory ministry rests is the law of love love for God and love for people first Timothy chapter 2 and verse 4 tells us that God desires that all men be saved and then when they are saved that they don't just stop there but that they grow and mature and come into the knowledge of the truth so the intercessory ministry is founded on the law of love you cannot become an intercessor when there is self alive in you remember my definition of love the absence of self you are walking in love to the degree that there is the absence of self why go through the labor of prayer the labor of fasting the labor of stretching and discomforting yourself over an issue that is not your business can i tell you this as you will be learning everything you make happen for someone you are delivering yourself to from that trouble that was the mistake of esther when esther had a chance to advocate she was in the palace she was already immune don't forget this is the wife of the king and Mordecai sent a warning to her he said if you leave us God will raise another help for us but when they are done with us when they find out you are a Jew too you will see what will happen to you in that palace and Esther said no 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 she put on her sackcloth and ashes he said I'm I'm going to the king but let us fast and pray pray for me so that I can intercede for you too they were all, all intercessors for one another they prayed for her and she went before the king violated the ordinance of approaching his presence and yet he lifted the golden censer because prayer had gone up if she just stepped in carelessly and casually that inner chamber that would have been the last time what happened to Vashti at least Vashti was driven away she would have been killed you know those days they kill they don't forgive no counseling no nothing they kill straight to the point the law of love you see most of what we do as believers that we think is spirituality is just a marketing of flesh there is such and let me tell you this you know you are growing spiritually to the degree to which you and your interest decreases where you are burdened with the purposes of the kingdom greater than your personal desires that was temptation number one when satan came to jesus temptation number one was your individual appetite turn this stone to bread you are hungry you need bread forget about your assignment and what your father sent you satisfy your hunger and jesus said i've moved past that realm the agenda of god is bigger than my personal hunger are we together now many of us as prayerful as we are everything centers around us not even your family members 
not even your wife not even your husband it's none of your business what happens to anybody provided i am hot then i pray if i am fine to hell with what is happening in the body respectfully speaking and with all due respect and honor to the body of christ even we men of god we have this spirit and we have mentored and taught members to walk like that whatever is happening to the church is not your business provided koinonia is fine provided we are growing whether a church is being burned whether whatever is happening that's none of your business we are fine do not make the mistake of esther you know you are matured spiritually when you can receive the pain that is in the heart of Jesus so that you find yourself fasting for three days over an issue that is entirely not your business God can trust you with the salvation of many and say listen in this family in seven days all of them are about to die this is what Satan has programmed and there is the spirit that brings salvation over around the family there is no intercessor and he comes to you can I trust you for the redemption of this family and you can wake up in the night I can't be trusted Lord what are we doing it's none of your business you just stand and while you pray angels come and you find out that by prophecy that family should die Except, listen don't fear negative prophecy when there is an intercessor no 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 there are only few prophecies in the bible that are called written judgments they can't be changed a bulk of the things that happen in our lives it is within the power of the believer to change if you know and understand god's system are we together now so the intercessory ministry is based on two foundations let's hurry up number one the law of love love for God and love for people the intercessory ministry is not based on the desire to pray uh -uh. the intercessory ministry is not based on the desire to be powerful no love is the genuine biblical foundation for the intercessory ministry number two the second foundation for the intercessory ministry is the principle of shared dominion the second foundation upon which the intercessory ministry sits on is the principle of shared dominion psalms 115 and verse 16 psalms 115 and verse 16 Yeshua, ah, 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 You see, let me tell you this. The church is an advantage the church is not a disadvantage to civilization the house of God is where the mysteries of the kingdom are dispensed it is where high level spiritual understanding is given to believers I was glad he said when they said unto me let the house of God is not an interruption to your time it's an advantage to your destiny are we together behold I show you a mystery please give me that scripture again the heaven even the heavens are the Lord's but the earth has he given to the children of men in theology we call this the principle of shared dominion now as you know the church and the believer has been given dominion but our dominion is not absolute dominion our dominion is derived are we together now that means to we depend on what we were given God's dominion is absolute dominion but the dominion of the believer is shared dominion 
and here's how God created the system please watch this that the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord's but the earth he has given to the children of men do you know what that means that means he placed man according to Genesis 1 26 to 28 he gave man dominion over the earth and its entirety that means if God wants to do anything on earth and if Satan wants to do anything on earth both God and Satan must add men to the equation of dominion for anything to happen in the earth God has the power to veto man but he has limited himself to honor man by saying man as far as the earth is concerned you must become a factor to reckon with if anything will happen in the earth do you know why satan is powerful satan is powerful for as long as there is one unsaved person and one ignorant person this is where satan derives his strength the confidence of satan is based on the fact that he thinks it will be impossible for everybody on earth to be saved and everybody to come into the fullness of the stature so he knows provided there is one available vessel a legion was in one person this is satan's confidence he's not moved by the fact that many things are happening he's threatened but not moved because there is still one person he can deceive there is still one soul he can kill, steal, and destroy from. There is a law called the law of territory. That means you are not allowed to be a legitimate functionary within a territory until you are built with the materials of that territory. Are we together now? You cannot go to heaven. You cannot even enter the realm of the spirit with this body. It has to change that is why when you are having a visionary experience is your spirit that accesses that realm the physical body remains here when you dream is not your body the body you see there is just a spirit body are we together now remember we can leave but we are not going with this body something will happen according to the authority of Scripture when the trumpet sounds those who are dead in Christ will rise first is that true Go to the grave and see whether their bodies are there it's decayed already so another body would be given to them bodies incorruptible and we who are alive and are kept we will be changed are we together now yes the reason why demons the reason why spirits cannot function legitimately on earth is because they did not descend to the earth with a body a body was only made for adam and his generation are you seeing that now if you know this you will now well, we have the mystery of deliverance coming so let me not hurry up i will be teaching you a deep mystery why people go to bed and see these spirits come to molest them i will teach you what they are looking for because spirits are genderless there is no male and female spirit so what is the appearance of that man that comes to you or that woman that comes to you there is a mystery and there is an explanation what are they looking for but let's limit ourselves to what we are discussing now are we learning already the intercessory ministry is based on two foundations number one the law of love number two the principle of shared dominion that means when it has to do with happenings in the earth it is not all up to god and it is not all up to man there is a participatory role that we have to play so don't look at the earth and say if there is a god in heaven this answers the question that people say if there is a god of heaven in heaven why is there killing and raping and maiming people i will tell you that part of the equation came as a result of man's carelessness are we together it is the reason why there are territories today that do not call upon the name of yeshua and yet there is dexterity and order within that territory because they took advantage of the principles of scripture that make for leadership and they replicated heaven within that territory 
the principle of shared dominion question what power does satan use to destroy man who can answer that question do you know what power satan uses once have i spoken twice have you heard that all power belongs to the lord do you believe that scripture where then does satan get this power how come he is so powerful i will tell you it is not just because he was once a cherub that covereth it is not just because he deceived one third of the angels are we together now in as much as it is true you see one thing with light is that once you have received light light is like dna the memory and the imprint of that light remains with you this is why ah, do i should we talk about this now Let's see. now watch this if i am a herbalist god forbid god forbid in the name of jesus i'm saying it on air so that you get it clearly because of the times that we live in listen carefully it's just an example now watch this let's assume that as a young boy i was introduced into traditional practice and they opened my eyes using divination if i get born again that opening will not close again are you getting yeah what happens is just that the agency that sponsors that activity will change but that advantage remains with you completely <laughs> listen satan was once the light bearer the imprint of that light you see even though he's fallen right now it cannot be undone again like to brainwash the mysteries listen carefully there are three levels of accessing power the highest is power through intimacy relationship are we together now the highest level of spiritual power comes through intimacy the second level comes by accessing the mysteries of the kingdom there is a dimension of the power of god invested in mysteries you don't need a relationship for that to work all you need is understanding and the faith to engage it this is the kind of power that is used by herbalist and spiritualist those who practice divination what they are teaching them are things that are largely founded from scripture but empowered by demonic agencies that's why they fast too that's why they do all of these things too whether you are serving god or satan you will still fast is that true because there is something it can do to you remember the prophets of baal and elijah did you not see a similarity of operations between two of them and yet one belonged to baal and one belonged to god and all of them needed altars all of them needed sacrifices all of them needed fire to come down I hope you are we're still together this night yes if you do not understand the principle of shared dominion the devil will take advantage of your life and you will sit down and believe everything that is happening to you is the will of god satan will deceive you into saying look if it happens is the will of god just give thanks because you do not understand that the heaven of heavens belong to the lord but the earth has he given to the sons hezekiah would have said all right that's okay i've heard you hezekiah said no way i'm not ignorant as a king he turned to the wall and began to negotiate the law of love and the principle of shared dominion now for sake of time very quickly there there are 
there are two basic principles listen carefully there are two basic principles that govern prophetic intercession number one the first principle is you must discern and understand the controlling powers over regions and over territories you want to become a prophetic intercession a intercessor you must understand discern and understand the controlling powers over regions and over territories daniel chapter 10 and verse 13 please look up there are many people who pray and pray and miss prophetic intercession is not just prayer request these are deeper levels of prayer that work with high level spiritual intelligence this was daniel remember when the angel came to him gabriel now he was giving him an explanation as to why he came late he says but the prince of the kingdom of persia which stood me one and twenty days but lo michael one of the chief princes came to help me and i remained there with the king of persia what was the king of persia fighting verse 14 now i am come to make thee understand what shall befall who thy people he was not attacking daniel he was attacking salvation that was coming to the people through the revelation that will be given to daniel and he discerned the prince of persia he kept praying he set himself to fast and pray for 21 days for the answer to come can i tell you this please look at me the bible does not leave the believer in the dark as to the fact that satan has an organized demonic structure this is not teaching or glorifying satan but it's the truth from scripture it was Paul in his Pauline epistle that opened us up to that spiritual stratification of demonic activities to the end that we be enlightened. Are we together now? Most believers are completely ignorant as to the devices of the enemy. And we just wave it and say, no problem. Jesus has died. That's all right. When they teach you in driving schools, why do they talk to you about accidents and other things do they plan to kill you no but that awareness is important is that true you ask pilots when they train them they simulate different scenarios of plane crashes so that they build a management system around it the goal is not for them to crash but that that possibility exists in their entire time and it is better that they are enlightened do not be ignorant, he said, of the devices of the enemy. Satan has devices. And many believers are ignorant. And Satan rides upon our ignorance to begin to cause us a plethora of catastrophes. God is bringing light to us tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. How do you know? the controlling powers over territories look at me you study the controlling powers over territories by looking at the prevalent patterns that are within that territory you can know the spirits that control territories and please hear me if you're a minister of the gospel hear this and learn this so that when god sent you to a territory you don't just go and get a building or build and start you have to understand what you are confronting there are territories where you don't find old people there. You get to a certain age range, there is a spirit that cuts you off. There are territories where you don't find children. You find very old people, but they renew their lives with children. There are territories where it is the women that feed the men. Once you are within that territory, as a woman, you are the man, and the man is the woman. Born again, tongue talking but you find out that the men are limited the house is paid for by the woman don't feel bad i'm not i'm not trying to look down on you but it ought not to be so that is not god's order are we together now there are families where the parents are always greater than the children you can give birth to eight children the highest of them will become something you are not proud of saying 
no matter how hard working have you seen people travel to america after 10 20 years they return back like armed robbers they look like the spirit of the city there are cities you enter and you can remember everything from when you were a child nothing changed regardless and in that city they will tell you the best professor came out from that city in the best the it people people come out from that city to bless the world and yet the city does not change there are spirits that keep it yes sir how about spirits of poverty you hear that someone was doing well and just came to a city and he starts going down until he looks like the city You want to become an intercessor? Yes. This also applies to families. There are families where things don't work. Please don't, I hope you understand what I'm teaching you now. Yes. Father was educated and serious. Mother was educated and serious. All the children graduates grandchildren graduate and yet nobody can have a decent job the most successful person the longest person who worked there worked only three years go and read your bible now i hope you understand what i'm teaching you now i'm not trying to get you emotional if i mention a case that relates to yours i hope you understand that i'm just teaching generally do we understand now there are families for instance where the greatest people who represent the strength of that family always die the moment someone gets a job with nmpc and he says glory be to god he dies so you find a territory with weak people all the people that have the strength to bring deliverance there is a spirit that comes to cut them short you are not an intercessor if you do not understand the burden of the territory what are you praying over you don't just listen an intercessor does not say god give people jobs oh god give people children that's a child's prayer you come to the root of the problem the controlling powers many years ago you've heard it in my teachings many years ago i went to preach somewhere in northern nigeria it was a crusade a can crusade i think or, or something of that sort and through god is my witness i saw several something was happening to the women now i'm not a medical doctor but every time they gave birth they became deaf and dumb immediately not one not two not eight not ten i said I, well, i'm not a doctor but at least i have i did biology enough to know that this is what is the relationship between giving birth and becoming deaf and dumb once you see a prevalent pattern it is not sickness it is a spirit are we together there are family members where children of 12 years have high blood pressure what is the child thinking about you really think that's a disease no 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 even medical science tells us sometimes they trace certain sicknesses and they'll say does your father have it does your mother have it in the name of jesus let me speak over someone any pattern that will not allow your family represent the purposes of god i call upon the god of my covenant this night it lives your life forever please sit down I have seen patterns of poverty over families there are territories where the preachers never break through anointed they love God sincerely some of the the holiest godliest men and yet the territory does not open after 10 years 40 members it declines to 30 during Thanksgiving it goes to 80 and you see the people saying God did you send me if only they understood that there are veils and there are gates over territories listen to what i'm telling you there are controlling powers over territories there are controlling powers over regions there are controlling powers over families don't you think the devil will just fold his arms and watch you and your children just go like that 
there is a pharaoh that will fight your exodus it takes spiritual intelligence to define your possibilities patterns of bad luck patterns of ill health patterns of widespread barrenness mother barren gave birth only after 10 years Father, um, brothers barren sister barren is a demonic thing there are patterns where things that are started never finish have you seen those kinds of things you will see a house they will tell you they started building this house in 1987 until now what is in a house that cannot be built you will hear that the person who had money and came to build it died there have you seen those things don't be afraid of what i'm teaching you is the truth you stand upon a territory jesus looked over jerusalem and began to cry why was he crying he saw that there was a spirit that casted blindness on the people oh jerusalem jerusalem he said if thou had known even in this thy time the things that pertain unto your peace but they are hidden from you the widow at name there is a there was a pattern that kills all the men in her life her husband died her only child was about to die and the intercessor came and said no we have to change something here God is raising many of you right now because there, there are age long some of them centuries old problems in your area and your grandfathers tried to do the best help them please they tried to do the best that they could do my God I sense such an anointing such an anointing such an anointing just help those under the anointing Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Will you blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind? Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind spirit of victory cover us with your wings blow every sadness blow 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 like a mighty wind hear me there are territories that have patterns where those who work for things never enjoy it have you seen that pattern you labor there are people who have raised others there are people in nigeria almost every great name they participated in their rising and yet there is nothing for you it's a spirit it's a pattern they sit over territories Embrekete katos koti barakata, shkada bata katos kete kata. Embrekete katos koto pakata, kebas kebas keta lis kenya. Embrekete katos kati balakata. Kadakata bakata katos, emprete ke parakatos katikata, ke prende skete lakatos katiada, kaparis katiha. Just pray in the spirit in one minute. Sana kata bakatos koto prende kata, kileks ke ni matos koto prende katia. I sought for a man who would stand in the gap that I would not destroy them. hallelujah let me finish because we're going to pray tonight worship team get ready you will sing that my song for me again ah! 
up my spirit is fired up listen you have to say enough is enough if not for your sake for your children on board i've gone through the pain already let innocent people not go through this again i've gone through the poverty i went through the pain of idolatry i went through the pain of polygamy i went through the pain of delay go through it for their sake that is the character of an intercessor someone pray you are engaging the spirit for the sake of those connected to you listen to me hear me please listen to me i'm teaching you the principles of prophetic intercession there are families where the children will always bring shame to the parents no matter the investment it's not that they are bad they find themselves going to fish trouble and return back with shame you send them to go for studies they return with shame wasting your money and your time remember what i taught you he continued further if and when unhindered evil will always continue further hear me let me tell you this i made up my mind and i made a covenant with god that everything i've suffered in my life it ends with me my children will never whether spiritual or physical they will never this is the character of an intercessor in one minute i'd like you to pray send prayer investments let it end with me let it end with me the poverty the failure the limitations let it end here thus far have you come no further shall you go pray 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 in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please sit down please sit down just help those under the anointing now hear me please don't be distracted we are praying I want you right now as you are seated in one minute study the patterns you have seen in your family just think about it honestly study the patterns you have seen from the region you come from there are regions that have the spirit of anger there are regions that have the spirit of disunity there are regions that have the spirit of irresponsibility it's the women that serve the men there are regions that have helped them, please. Kabashka Nikatosia. Widespread laziness. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I can see with the eyes of the Spirit and I see a mighty army rising yes I know they're rising in the thousands 
coming from afar coming from afar hey. oh, oh, oh. Hear me. Please listen carefully. Listen. It was from Zaria that the Lord sent me here. There is a spirit over that region. You start a walk, it does not last more than three years. Something must happen that brings you down. You may still be there, but you never maintain the texture of your glory. There are regions like that. I sought for a man who would stand in the gap. Woe betides a family with no intercessor. Woe betides a business with no intercessor. Don't you think because it's business you don't intercede? Woe betides a ministry that has sounds and mics and has beautiful skilled people but without intercessors. Woe betides a preacher without personal intercessors no matter how anointed you are in this end times if there are no men who can hold on the altar for you you may not last i tell you the evil of the times will eat you up to your shame and surprise Please sit down. Controlling powers. I've shared with you my vision that I was praying some years ago when the ceiling in my room just disappeared and I'm seeing this spirit and this being looking at me looking like Leviathan looking like, like, like a dinosaur with a tail that had its own life the eyes were as big as a human eye and he says so you think you can bring god's people into abundance and i saw that spirit there are horns that stop the voices of men from rising to the nations there are many anointed people in this nation there are many gifted people in many families but there are spirits sitting on their glory number one please sit please sit discernment and the understanding of the controlling powers the primary explanation to territorial backwardness is not the blindness of the people human beings are god's creation they are not that dull only god would open your eyes to see the territories assigned over nigeria don't you think nigeria is just sitting free of attacks Go and see the powers that reside in the sea. The powers that manipulates the elements of nature. A ministry like this. You think the devil would just fold his arms and watch? No, sir. But we look to Yahweh. Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh. Yahweh. Lord, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh, Yahweh. Lord, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh. We look to Yahweh.
Hallelujah. Oh, I didn't see Reverend Vindio Lu. God bless you, sir. Such an honor to have you and your team. Thank you so much. Sincerely celebrate and appreciate you. Listen to me. Let me finish what I'm doing and would we'll dedicate some time. You are not praying this night for yourself. Do you know that in the peace of a territory is your peace? In the peace of your family is your peace. God is betting spiritual midwives tonight who will hold on the four horns of the altar and cry until something breaks open. So the principle of prophetic intercession number one the fortitude to discern the controlling powers jesus knew this when jesus was going to gadara he was not just sleeping he was resting but in discernment the spirits that possess the gatherings notice that in gadara some people were doing well whereas some people were suffering it was based on their negotiation with the spirits can i tell you there are controlling powers that sit over cities you don't do business and prosper until you come to them you can do a general small business but you are about to hit a threshold they will invite you come sit we don't just rise like that ask jesus when jesus was about to start his mission satan took him into an exceeding high mountain and showed him the glories of the world and say all has been given to me unfortunately satan is not the only jesus is not the only person satan has taken to that mountain there are many people preachers have gone to that mountain businessmen have gone to that mountain and some did not say no can i tell you this go and ask any truly successful person who is successful at a global scale they will tell you that the time must come when envoys who represent the workings of darkness they invite you to a council it is based on negotiation not intelligence from that level as a preacher and as a man of god it's like there is a spiritual meter that measures your impact you keep rising provided you are just generally doing your thing help that lady i curse that spirit in the name of jesus christ rise to a particular point of influence here they come to you your father tried this are you aware influence does not just happen because you have what to say it is victory over controlling powers the king of tyre sits upon the economic hub of the earth how dare you prosper without compromise without coming to him this is why jesus said what shall it profit a man if he gains and loses my question who was the businessman that did business with him that you gave your soul there are musicians who were taking up that mountain they freely gave their soul for fame can i tell you this this she goddess babylon that sits upon the circles of the earth is interested in everything including the souls of men let me show you a scripture revelations 18 we're about to pray revelations 18 this is the fall of babylon let's start from verse 1 we'll read from verse 1 to 5 and then we'll go to verse 9 and end with 13 please pay attention everyone please look and learn after these things i saw another angel come out from heaven having great power and the earth was lightened with his glory to five and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying 
Babylon the great is falling is falling and it's become a habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird verse 3 I want you to read this by yourself are you ready one to read for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her who is the her Babylon and the merchants of the earth how did they get rich read it our works rich through the abundance of her delicacies they did not just prosper there was a negotiation that happened verse 4 I heard another voice in heaven saying come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not her plagues go to verse 9 go to verse 9 and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning verse 10 standing afar off for the fear of her torment saying alas that great city babylon the mighty city for in one hour is thy judgment come and the merchants of the earth shall weep why will they weep for no man buyeth their merchandise so why were they buying their merchandise before it was not because they could buy and sell there was a spirit that they negotiated with over the territory verse 12 now listen let me show you what this system sells all these things are available for purchase the controlling powers i will tell you the assignment of controlling powers they ensure transgenerational allegiance to satan they control everything the systems and the structures to make sure you cannot rise by righteousness you negotiate with them they give you access the merchandise of gold silver precious stones pearls fine linen purple and silk scarlet tyine wood and all manner of vessels of ivory these are the things she sells and all manner of vessels of most precious wood you know the bible says what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and does what that means if babylon gives you the world what does she collect i will show you what she does with those souls verse 13 let's read cinnamon odors ointments hold on babylon can give you anointing she sells it too you can go and say i'm tired of ministry not working let's negotiate this territory cannot be that difficult and she says i will give you anointing frankincense and wine and oil fine flour and wheat and beast now you start reading sheep horses what else what does she sell again where did she get the souls the people who came to her for exchange babylon has souls babylon has slaves she can give you access to the hearts of men so that whether you sing anything no matter how nice it is a million people can love you in one day those souls come from her it does not just happen dear people of god why does the devil assign these spirits in territories to make sure no territory is ever saved as a territory if he tries your individual salvation and it does not work he can give up but he's waiting for you at a territorial level satan is obsessed with transgenerational allegiance your forefathers worshiped him through mediums grandfathers worshiped him through mediums and someone suddenly arises and say no more we will rise in your name Adonai may you reign on high we will rise 
It's in your name I don't know Here comes a generation that says we will not bow to Babylon and yet we will prosper, yet we will advance. And Satan says, you have drawn the line, here you go. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy ways. It is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves. Can I tell you this? Hear me. When God raised missionaries from Africa and when he brought missionaries from Europe and from America they taught us the evangelical dimension of the gospel but they did not teach us there are retaliations for refusing the allegiance of Satan so number one for starters malaria killed them we know now that it's not malaria you know you we know that isn't it Oh yes you don't step into a shrine and just break it and all you know is just the gospel of salvation it takes the gospel of the kingdom to walk in dominion and so many of our fathers and mothers and loved ones innocently said look we pledge our allegiance to Jesus we no longer will worship these idols but they did not know that your fortification is based on spiritual intelligence and these spirits came with harsh retaliations do you know what there is a generation now that is returning back because they are saying like gideon we have not seen this power again we have tried this church thing i was a christian and i did not get a job they will tell you i was a christian and i did not get whatever i wanted it didn't come by righteousness therefore i am returning back and you see the speed with which the devil gives them breakthrough not every testimony came from God. There are testimonies that are a product of fraternity with Babylon. Satan is making running to him marketable. Those who run to him, he will lavishly restore and give all kinds of things. And you will see a man beat his chest and say, when I was a Christian, I was a poor man. I was miserable as a preacher now that i've created alternatives look at my life initially you will refuse him until you see your children crying and for two years they have not gone to school satan comes to you again job will you still hold your integrity job said though he slay me yet will i trust him he said all the days of my appointed time i will Number two, what is the second principle of prophetic intercession? Faith and persistence. You cannot become an effective intercessor if you do not engage with faith and you do not sustain persistence. It takes an appreciable time period to break through the spiritual limitations that hold on to the minds of families and regions and territories and advocate a release for them please look up even though moses met god he did not just go to egypt and in one night he brought them out no pharaoh is stubborn he will not let them go even god told moses he said even though i've made you a god to pharaoh this guy you see is not himself he will not let you go it was after 10 plagues Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 15. This is where many intercessors give up. And so, after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. Not after he had prayed. Not after he had believed God. Can I tell you this? Some of you today, the dimension of grace God has brought you was a 25-year prayer of your mother. 30 year prayer of your grandmother don't you think intercession just happens in two days you've cried for three weeks and you are tired and say lord i've given up ask go and read your bible and find out how many years anna the prophetess interceded for jesus why will you need to intercede for jesus when he's the father who is sending him down to the earth 
from the time she became widowed she started interceding over a period of 60 years she interceded for the arrival of Jesus can I tell you this go and read church history read about the moves of God and you will learn that there were people there were missionaries who did not really have spiritual power per se but they held on to the horns of the altar and they prayed and prayed and prayed weeks became months months became years years became decades suddenly the heavens opened and you will see a young boy in the farm and fire would fall upon him go and read the history of the church in nigeria you see many believers who are not students of history that's why the secret to the future is in yesterday go back and study yesterday study the generals study those who serve the purposes of god men like archbishop benson idahosa papa ayo and babalola you go and read about them you may not know but they were prophetic intercessors who prophesied their arrival and prayed they were not educated they were not wealthy but they understood the art of prophetic intercession our generation is not praying for anything we are just praying for cars houses lord you've given me five add three more in my lifetime and god is saying look at you are not you are not long term you are not kingdom in your perspective I'm not saying those things are wrong. You've given me 10 houses, add two. Lord, you've made me, make me the greatest man of God within a city. And God says, why? Mundane desires. An intercessor is obsessed with seeing prophecy perfect. When another prophetess held Jesus, she said behold i have seen the consolation of israel do you know how powerful it is when an intercessor sees prophecy birthed in your lifetime there are many of you here who are parents don't weep over your personal failure begin to invest over your grandchildren lord grant that in my lifetime i see a prophet that comes from my loins grant that in my lifetime i see one who the government will be upon his shoulder see these are the kinds of destiny prayers we need to obtain grace to stop praying this tea and bread lord give me kill this one and leave me and mm -mm, you need to go to the horns of the altar and start praying national and territorial prayers john knox went on his knees and said lord give me scotland or i die choose one Take away my life and let it know that I failed or give me Scotland. Go and read about the revival. Unfortunately, most of those regions today do not appreciate the sacrifices. You see, if you don't teach children history, they will abuse privileges. This is a very honest advice. If God blesses you, don't just give your children money. Teach them the value of sacrifice. Blessing people without teaching them history is what leads to compromises. There are many, many fathers who should teach sons in the gospel. The sacrifice that brought the anointing that they are easily and carelessly enjoying. Some of the most lawless people in society are children. Because the car was given free. Everything was given free. You can find a man who is a billionaire. Sometimes he can even fly economy. Because life has whipped him so much there's no point to prove. And you will see a lawless child with nothing flying private jet and his mind is empty and he's about to destroy the father's fortune two years after the death of the father he's gone down because there's no wisdom i have a message i pray that i will teach it on father's day the concept of inheritance i will share with you what the bible calls inheritance there are five things if you do not give your child you are failed unfortunately 80% of men have not given that to their children. Most of what we give is not inheritance. Go and look at Abraham and Isaac. He never gave Abraham any material thing. But to all the sons that he had with Hagar and the other concubines, he gave them physical things. Giving your child a physical thing is the least way to help them. Sila. And then wait for that. Wait for that series. Father's Day Maranatha
Galatians 6 and verse 9. We're wrapping up. Let us not be weary in well-doing. That includes intercession. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. Don't be weary. You've been praying for the salvation of your loved ones for the past five years. Could it be that you are just two weeks left? Don't give up. Can I tell you? For some reason, experience has shown that mothers are better intercessors or women. I think it's because of the pain of childbirth. There are many people God is using today who it was not their personal desire to be used by God. Mama did not go to school, but she used the power of prayer to rouse the head of that child to a prayer meeting. He was on his way somewhere and the intercession of mama of many years and he just said let me step in and rest and that was where fire fell on that person someone prayed for you to be saved i hope you are praying for someone else intercession let me round up by teaching you the blessing of an intercessor there are three blessings in scripture that follows an intercessor number one intercession is a seed please understand this according to the law of seed time and harvest every time you engage in the ministry of intercession is a seed you are sowing and based on the integrity of that law there is a harvest that is coming for you one of the you ask any serious intercessor he will tell you most of the things you pray for others about you will not need to pray for yourself about it job 42 and verse 10 please give it to us job 42 and verse 10 help those under the anointing please read with me one to read and the lord turned the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends also the Lord gave Job how many? Listen, you read the beginning of Job's prayer. He was praying for himself, wondering what was going wrong. But Job came to a point where he almost accepted his fate. And he said, do you know what? I'm already a dead man. Let me focus on praying for my friends. At least let them have hope if I am hopeless. And he engaged a mystery please keep that scripture there that God turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends God can turn your captivity as you pray for other sinners as you pray for your family members mentioning them by name every true believer should have a prayer altar write the names of people would you be that one person that when things are not going wrong when things are not going right and they need someone to stand you are the one they call they say listen i don't know what is happening to my marriage but can i trust you to pray for me rather than gossiping around with people's issues pray rather than making a lot of noise over what is the meaning of this why is this church going down pray Rather than praying and saying, this man is like his business is going down. Shame on him. Pray. Job, James 5.13. Is anyone afflicted? Let him pray. I believe in the ministry of intercession sincerely. Let me tell you. You go and ask God. I stand before the God of heaven and I tell you this more than 80 to 85 percent i hope i'm not lying of my prayer is not for myself and it's not because it's not because i am a man of god and i have a spiritual responsibility i like to know what is wrong especially for a family that may not have the spiritual intelligence to handle it my real anointing works when there is trouble yes sir Oh, Apostle, it looks like the devil is just... That's all right. Just give me the prayer request. 
doesn't mean you go and sleep too let me give you a caution because some of sometimes if you don't balance these teachings pray for me pray for me has also produced a lazy people in the body of christ they just give you a prayer request and add a small seed and go and sleep don't practice that kind of attitude it's very bad there there are certain victories that is you and god that will flog it out alone are we together if you are playing football we can't play the football for you we can only cheer you but you are the one who kicks that ball to the goal post the blessing of an intercessor number one that intercession is a seed and every time you intercede do not allow the devil cheat you and make you believe that you are do you know sometimes you'll be mandated to pray for people who will never even appreciate you even when they know you are interceding now from a human standpoint it is painful because if you tell them i'm praying for you you are just seeing doors open they'll say you are praying for me carry your prayer and pray for yourself and yet god says continue that's why i told you the foundation of the intercessory ministry is love number two very quickly what is the second blessing of an intercessor access to the secrets of god over territories and over people the blessing of an intercessor is that by reason of your your opening your heart to intercede god can trust you with the secrets of territories and the secrets of destinies God can open your eyes and tell you something about a man of God, about a church, about a people that no other person, not even the person he's talking about may know. You have earned his trust by reason of being an intercessor. He can trust you with the pain of people because he knows that you will pray for them. Genesis 18. 17 and 18 let's hurry up genesis 18 17 and 18 and the lord said shall i hide from abraham that thing which i do seeing that abraham shall surely become a great and a mighty nation and that all the nations of the earth will be blessed through him are you seeing the key now i know that whatever i do for him is for the sake of others so i can trust him there are many people today who pray for the spirit of revelation. Lord, grant me access to illumination. Lord, open me up to the prophetic. And you know, many times when people come and tell me, Apostle, what is the secret to the prophetic? I tell them it's love, not power. Can God open you up to the details of a family, especially when it is negative? Can God trust you with the secrets of men and you pray for them? This is our generation that our mouth does not close. Can God show you the weaknesses and the limitations of people and trust you to pray for them? Can God show you the limitations of a nation, of a politician, of governments, of families? If God opens your eyes and you see the spirits that sits upon the destinies of a particular family, can you pray for them as instructed and yet be quiet? There are some of you, God trusted you with the secrets of men. He opened up to you in dreams and showed you things to pray for about men, about ministries, about politicians, and you ran your mouth up and down. And God said, no more. Let's withdraw that grace for the safety of that person. You are a Christian, but you have not earned the right to be trusted. Can God trust you? It's a message I preached years ago. Please go and look for it. It's an audio message. Some of these audio messages will do the video versions of them. Powerful message. Can God trust you? God loves everybody, but he does not trust everybody. He gave unto one five talent and two and one as a measure of his trust for them. Can a ministry come to you and say, we are struggling financially? Man of God, we are struggling. Forget that the smiling is just by faith. But as it is now, our rent is expired. Shame is imminent. And you can say, my brother, know that there is a shoulder 
that is praying with you can i tell you this there are many people wounded in the body of christ today the reason why many people do not open up over their pain is because there are no true intercessors prayer partners have stabbed one another in the back they share prayer requests it's like my grandmother is a witch and i'm hearing and they are writing and the next time they are seeing it on the internet they are seeing it everywhere pastors are preaching the pain of people and all of these things and the, and they do it in a way that the people know this is them and god says no with all that grace for the safety of the person can i give you a secret you must pray that god will make you a trustworthy person that's why those who have the mysteries of the kingdom are called custodians a custodian is a caretaker it is not yours but you have earned the trust of god stewards of the mysteries he says there are things god has shown me about people ministries politicians several people every time god reveals to me the secrets of the destinies of men or territories it is a trust and i take it with every sense of responsibility can i tell you i have counseled so many people who have been betrayed and backstabbed by people that they trusted oh three of our children one is a smoker the other one is not doing well can we agree and the next thing that becomes a subject of pain that's why many people box their problems now and cry alone to God. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. They will break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. The secrets of the Lord is with them that fear Him, and He will show them His covenants. When I started with God, there were times, aside from my encounter with Jesus, this is a true story. I don't talk too much about my experiences because I want people to build their faith on the integrity of scripture because sometimes younger ministers just imitate and copy everything without knowing which one is a doctrine and which one is a personalized dealing. But I remember when I would have encounters like the Shekinah glory of God, literally like a mist will come. You know how a fog is. That is how it will fill my room. And I would lie down and my Bible, God is my witness, will physically open to pages that I did not open with my own hands. Till today that experience still happens to me. I can close my Bible and sleep. There is no fan anywhere. And yet I wake up in the middle of the night. I know that the Holy Spirit wants me to study there. This is how some of these messages come. But can God trust you? The sheer level of pride that has wrapped up men of God, can he trust you with these experiences? Access to the secrets of God over territories and over people. Number three, and that does it for tonight. What is the blessing of an intercessor authority and power over the assigned territory let me tell you this one of the blessings you receive as an intercessor is aside the authority you have as a believer God is able to trust you with authority and power over the territory that the burden of intercession came to you over I can tell you this there is a mystery called the decree of the watchers not just the decree of men it is a decree of the watchers daniel chapter 4 from verse 16 and 17 there is the decree of the believer but there is the decree of the watcher there is a throne in heaven that backs you authority you speak over that assigned territory 
and every force and everything will come into alignment let his heart be changed from a man's remember the judgment of nebuchadnezzar let a beast's heart be given to him unless seven times over him 17 this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones and they made that decree it was not just god that judged nebuchadnezzar there were watchmen there were men and women who had authority over that region and they said your evil is enough and they cursed him and heaven backed it to this intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth over the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basest of men you know a true intercessor by the territorial power and authority they command there were many many other people in the days of elijah but watch elijah the intercessor there shall be no rain for a period of three and a half years if it was in our arrogant generation a group of people will come and say don't mind elijah is he the only one let's pray you think someone did not pray and say lord let rain come it was as if he was the only man after three and a half years let me tell you how rain came rain did not just come by him saying rain come he did exactly what closed the heavens the bible says he bent over and prayed and lifted his head did it again and he said i see the sign like the fist of a man's hand saddle your ass and run i hear in my spirit the sound of the abundance of rain intercessors are men of power in the spirit don't mind their weakness physically intercessors are powerful they can literally shift the spiritual climate of their assigned territories one intercessor who steps into a territory with understanding when i went to preach for archbishop duncan williams i had an opportunity to go to their prayer mountain where they are building as a platform to intercede for the nations and when i got there i had the opportunity to teach and pray with his major personal intercessors my goodness you think you can pray you meet those guys believe me when i tell you ah no 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 when when those guys you will know that those guys were that's their life oh intercessors they are just giving the burden over nations god can say now congo all they need to do is to drop the prayer request in the middle of them and they will pieces it like you are slicing fish you will just hear that someone is dying someone else is rising there is a control room in the spirit can i tell you this ladies and gentlemen nigeria is not as bad as it is it's a reflection of the absence of strategic intercessors you want to command salvation over territories let's start with abuja start with your region raise men and women by the spirit who understand prayer not blind prayer of dissipating energy that does not produce result that's not intercession strategic prayer with understanding bring forth your strong reason saith the lord over this territory you write the names of your family members one by one and you wake up every night you are praying lord salvation lord healing lord restoration lord deliverance he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint can i tell you this there are certain levels of power and grace i have seen in my life it did not come by asking directly it came as a product of standing in the place of prayer for people there are covenants that i have with god today 
that came at the instance of certain levels of intercession there are things God will never tell you in the open you will have to become an intercessor pastors pray for your members don't just speak over them can I tell you koinonia hear me you are spiritual people go and ask God the decree to which I pray for you don't think my preaching here is the end of the ministry what you see me do on the pulpit is only 30 percent of my ministry to you my real assignment to you and my my real ministry to you aside from teaching you the word of god is to pray while you are sleeping know that there is somebody awake for your sake praying and crying unto god don't think i'm a politician doing some manifesto here lord touch my people lord change their lives sometimes you send me text messages and i don't reply you don't be angry just because i did not reply you it does not mean i did not pray about it there are times i just drop the phone there because i can't reply everything and i lie down before my maker and i say lord you sent me let these people not have shame and reproach when i sit down here and hear certain testimonies praise the lord this one just happened i just sit quietly as if i don't know anything about it but make no mistakes ladies and gentlemen this man you see by the privilege of god's grace and i do not say it to boast if you have never believed that anybody prays for you believe it today believe it today believe it today believe it today that is why you see as a man of god when you have time for everything it's a sign that something is wrong with your ministry are we together yes everything you have time to go for every occasion you are at wedding in the morning birthday in the afternoon some thanksgiving in the where what prayer is not something that you do in a rush there are times that it takes two hours to just say thank you thank you two hours thank you jesus and you are there lying down and an atmosphere of worship like this your eyes sleepy but you remember that you love the people you are sent to can i tell you this a good shepherd lays down his life god will not trust you with members just because you want it he must show in your heart i speak respectfully to servants of god listening forget about all this wanting people to just give you seed you announce your birthday one year in in in, 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 in um, what do they call it now one year in advance settle down and do what god called you to do the members are not stupid when god blesses them through you they know what to do to you can i tell you this demanding money from members is wrong like to say come and give me money that's not your assignment they didn't call you you bless them and pray for them and let god direct them and they will surprise you members are not greedy just do your work Go and ask him i don't just love koinonia i love you you are koinonia <laughs> only god will tell you the amount of prayer sacrifice and preparation i just returned from lagos you know some of us at one o'clock i was standing on the pulpit and preaching you see that these are the sacrifices of an intercessor i leave this place probably 1 a.m or 2 a.m by tomorrow morning because after service that's only part one of all of this listen when you see what god is doing with people don't just claim anointings do you have the compassion to go that far this is what the younger generation needs to learn just claim anointings up and down no commanding salvation over territories for as long as we're in this city God has sent us in partnership with other vessels across this city to lift our hands and say Satan is no longer business as usual we have come with open hearts oh let the ancient words 
God has sent us to these cities to tear down ancient gates gates that have kept men of God down gates that have kept families down this is the FCT so we stand upon this control room and we speak rise up on your feet our time is gone but lend me two or three minutes we are going to pray and intercede number one we will intercede for the church in Abuja and the church in Nigeria doesn't matter the denomination that the purposes of God will be established and the counsel of darkness will be far from our habitation prayer point number two we are going to pray for every family represented here I like you to pray that because you are here every onslaught of darkness against every family to bring shame and reproach we come by the decree of the watchers that it must be overturned and number three you are going to pray for Nigeria our nation we are going to cry to the God of heaven and say Lord you are always ahead of time go ahead of us bring salvation to this nation is someone ready to pray lift your voice in one minute and begin to pray 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 is this how you're praying online we pray for the church in abuja every church that names the name of christ we intercede in the name of jesus new levels grace for salvation signs and wonders fire upon every altar in the mighty and marvelous name of jesus pray the works of darkness to destroy the purposes of God the works of darkness to destroy any man of God the works of darkness to destroy any work to discourage the faith of believers we curse it in the name of Jesus pray for every assembly Lord let there be salvation soul winning at another level soul winning at another dimension pray Lord bring increase to every church bring fire to every church bring revival to every church signs and wonders the church in Abuja we declare you are light a city on a hill that cannot be hidden we decree and we prophesy all of the six local governments in Abuja the church is there represented exploited by the spirit in the name of Jesus now pray for every family begin with your family members pray for your children pray for your spouse pray for your siblings cry to the God of heaven arise oh God like the mighty God that you are wipe the tears of God's people wipe the tears of families let shame and reproach let Ichabod no longer be their testimony Turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev. Finally, pray for Nigeria. Go ahead and pray. Pray for the presidency. Pray for our members of Senate. Pray for the House members. Pray for the captains of industry. Pray for the teachers, the lecturers. Pray for our colleges, our universities. Pray for our hospitals. Pray for the military, the police, the paramilitary. Lord, there must be peace in this nation. If someone pray, we decree, we give him no rest till you establish Jerusalem as a praise. 
Shalakata branda get a ghost. Demons of bloodshed, we curse you. Demons of ritual killing, we curse you. Spirits of terrorism, there is no place for you in our border. We pray for Christians, we pray for Muslims, we pray for everyone who is upon our soil. Lord, we pray there must be peace. We pray there must be advancement in the name of Jesus. Everyone who names the name of Christ, let there be peace. From the presidency, wisdom, our parliamentarians, wisdom, businessmen, wisdom, captains of industry. When men say there is a casting down, for you it will be that there is a lifting up. We drive the coronavirus out of our territory. We lend our voices with the medical personnel. We prophesy peace. No pandemic will cross our borders and come to destroy us. We make this decree, the decree of the watchers established in heaven. The spirits of untimely death we curse you by the God of heaven. Our roads are safe. The airwaves are safe. Shalabarakatosia. Two more minutes. You are interceding if you do not know what to pray for as you ought to pray in the spirit we lend our voices to pray we declare an end to the works of darkness we declare an end We dethrone every other name. We dethrone every other council. In the name of Jesus, we frustrate the tokens of liars. We turn diviners mad. They will not perform their enterprise in the name of Jesus. Every family rising by the Spirit, every family excelling by the spirit every family coming into the experiential knowledge of jesus christ I pray for you in the name of Jesus let the mantle of the intercessor the grace for prayer and supplication may it come upon you tonight every laziness in your prayer life whatever has fought your prayer life that you do not know how to hold on to the four horns of the altar and change things spiritually in the name of Jesus I decree and declare fresh fire upon your altar and hear me whatever has continued 
because your intercessory ministry was absent i stand by the grace of god and we bring an end to it now hear me please i want you to leave this meeting tonight knowing that at the very least you are the intercessor for your family start there the dynamics of interceding for territories there are higher and deeper levels of spiritual intelligence there is a series on that and i will teach you but you can start with your family he said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it destroy it not when you leave this place you can use this night use tomorrow and pray lock yourself collect the prayer request from your family members send them a text and say please forward me your prayer request put them before the god of your salvation and begin to engage the mysteries of the kingdom pray god reveals to you something about your pastor about what he wants to do in the church put it down pray and you watch what begins to happen when a people pray In the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare that as you commit to the ministry of intercession let the harvest of your intercession come to you number two let the intercessory ministry open you up to deep realms of mysteries in the spirit and number three let the ministry of the intercessor multiply your authority and the power of God at work in your life. You will speak over your family and heaven will stamp it. You will speak over regions and territories and it will be so. Even by the decree of the watchers. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I agree with you, whatever burden you came here with. Every service is a miracle service. There might be an official season, but every service, once there is faith and hunger, it is a miracle service. Therefore, I agree with you that everything you came here trusting God for, I release my faith with you. May it become your testimony this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ please you are here and you are saying apostle now I realize it is a risk being without Jesus please no movement it is we we must mature and grow do not walk around when an altar call is been five or two more minutes does not stop you from going where you are going please as much as possible when an altar call is being made it's a time to respect it nobody would force you but it's a discipline we must grow spiritually an altar call does not take more than two minutes and we're done many of you will go out and yet it's not home you are going to there is a spirit that tries to drive you two minutes added to your time does not take you run away from that culture except it is necessary please don't do that when an altar call comes we must be matured are we together there are people here who are saying apostle i need jesus this night and i need him sincerely others are saying apostle i love jesus with all my heart but for some reason my life has gone haywire i need restoration i'm going to call on these two groups of people and i want you to please run it's my joy and my honor there is a champion in the making some of you you are coming in and this your salvation will culminate to the blessing of your family i will count one to five run and come and stand here young and old one celebrate them as they come shepherd of my soul i give you full control wherever you may lead me i will go and i have made a choice to listen for your voice wherever you may lead i will go keep coming one more time 
is the shepherd of my soul I give you full control wherever you may lead me I will follow I have made a choice to listen for your voice wherever you may lead Come to Jesus. For some of you, He's giving you a new beginning. For some, He's restoring you. He is able to do both and to save even to the uttermost. And you following online, you are following by way of television or the internet. Jesus is coming to you. It is time to surrender everything to Him. Even if you are watching the rebroadcast, this is an opportunity to make it right with Jesus. I salute every one of you and all the overflows I want you to please lift your right hand before Jesus the son of the living God you're not lifting it before apostle you're lifting it before Jesus say this after me let it be from the depth of your heart in this confession today can be the salvation of so many people connected to you you are not just saved for yourself you are saved for many others say Lord Jesus one more time say it loud and clear say Lord Jesus I believe in you that you are the son of God tonight I have heard your word I believe that you died for me I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I declare that you are my savior you are my Lord and you are my King I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life I receive eternal life into my spirit from tonight and forever I am a child of God I am saved I go for whatever and backward never amen congratulations please keep your hands lifted father thank you so much for these precious people they have made declarations of faith before you in the presence of your people and this global family i pray in the name of jesus by the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven and indeed i pray that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life you are recipients of the life of god you receive the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and i declare that from today you reign i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit may you be built may you be established in righteousness go from glory to glory and grace to grace in jesus name i pray amen congratulations to you may i please request that you follow the counselors there are counselors waving the placard please i'd like you to gently all of you in concert let's celebrate them as they go please just go to the counselors they'll have a minute or two with you and you'll be back to your seat they won't take long please let's hurry with them counselors let's celebrate them koinonia hallelujah now please listen to a very important announcement very important announcement um it's necessary that i make this announcement before before um we leave this we've had a few a few um, concerns and i need to address it in one minute this is particularly for our international guests please pay attention media if you can work with me now we have an important information especially for our international guests the rate of people trying to scam these people who come because they know that so many people every week are coming here from across the nations we've had a number of people um it's it's a condition that is not a very good thing please sit for one minute thank you for your patience now there are a few information that i want you to get number one please i want you to know that we are here we meet once a week there's not been any reason if there is a conference or anything we'll announce it we're here Sundays 5 p.m. right at this auditorium and please if you want to come make sure that you are directed properly to come number two I hope it's 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 clear can I have number two please we do not provide 
visa information we can help you at a personal level but please do not allow anybody give you any invitation saying it is from koinonia you are dealing with scammers praise god we have an official pr department please make sure the the phone lines are available so that we project it at the end of this so please if for any reason there is a reason to give you an invitation letter an official invite there is a way to do that but you are welcome to come and worship with us at any time but please do not allow anybody stand in as me or anyone in the ministry trying to give you any official invite especially asking you for a fee number three um hotel reservations in as much as we do not do any private hotel reservations we have a pr department that has a relationship with most of the hotels within this city and the pr department can guide you working in partnership with the protocol and security department this is particularly for the international guests but it extends to people who are not domiciled in this city who are coming please i want you to be careful so that you do not fall victim of scammers and all kinds of people are we together do not allow anybody who says bring money the pr can recommend departments i mean um, hotels according to you know your financial level and this is this is a city center so um it shouldn't be difficult but we can help you but please do not allow anybody try to manipulate you and take money out of you number four i think we have five um this is long you may not be able to see that i, I apologize but um let me just pull it up here so that I can see. Now, we do not, do not allow, it's unfortunate, but information has gotten to my table that there are people who collect money from people and purport to give them an appointment with me. See, let me tell you, even if I'm not serious about ministry, I fear God. Praise the name of the Lord. Anybody who tells you he has a private relationship with me, and says you should secretly give them money please report them to our security department praise the name of the lord i'm saying this so that you also become an evangelist by the grace of god we are people of integrity are we together now it is unfortunate that guests come and because sadly some of these things are practiced across several places there is there is nobody i have never and i will never ask anybody to bring money for an appointment with me to see me i don't do that Praise the name of the Lord. I am called to serve. I'm not called to manipulate. Are we together? I think we must make that very clear. Please, those who are following online from any nation, do not give anybody one naira, one dollar, one pound, one anything. Don't give anybody anything in the name of trying to negotiate an appointment with Apostle. If you have been doing it, please stop. You can report to the security department and they'll be able to help you. And then um finally of course you know this that i am not on social media we continue to fight this to preserve the sanctity of the ministry i am not on social media all those i have allowed people to have my teachings and to spread them it is my gift to the body of christ however please do not start charging people to bring money and say you are apostle do you know there are people who have been scammed millions of naira and that is joshua selman there was a gentleman um some time ago who even did an international passport with my face on it and was negotiating a meeting with a ministry in america and said they have to send him advance and the people were so happy they said we can't believe that apostle is coming it was the protocol department and the security department the intelligence there that intercepted by the grace of God, we are not ignorant people. We are in connection with the national intelligence, the DSS. And even though we love Jesus, we will not fail to deal decisively. I'm saying it now in the open. We will not fail to deal decisively with people like this. It is, it is an evil of the highest order. When I saw the international passport myself, and I saw my, my face on it, I don't know who, I mean visa, I meant to say not international passport. They were almost going to send the advance. Me? Advance? Now, please, 
project if you can our official platforms I plead with you to have these things everybody in this ministry should have our official lines we are on the social media platforms these are our platforms also connecting with Zaria of course Zaria by the way Zaria we love you Zaria are streaming this now and we pray that the Lord will bless them in the name of Jesus Christ and then to let you know also the numbers I'm interested in the numbers not this if you have the numbers please just a minute so that our people can get this you can have it in your your um, the visitors card also the numbers are there you can reach our public relations department they are the department authorized to correspond on behalf of myself and the ministry please the numbers you can do well to have this is the official there are many but you can have this number for now and please put it down you can help those who need to make inquiries let's minimize some of these things we pray that God will help those doing this thing and bring them to salvation in Jesus name I pray thank you for tonight thank you for your patience please stand the Lord honor you and the Lord increase you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray let's share the grace in fellowship the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forever amen God bless you 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 Amen. God bless you. 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 Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.